down. It's the 10th of May. It's a little bit warmer and I've brought Oscar his favourite thing. I've brought him in that. take a trip over to the greenhouse and see what's going on over there. Thank you. Here we are. Oh, and the sun's come out just in time. Fantastic. Um, look, look at this. It's gone mad. We're going to have to do something. I bought this yesterday. All the little bits um, for hanging basket, which I'll we'll talk about in a minute. But we've actually started clearing some stuff out to our little coal frame thing, which again, I'll show you in a minute. Because today, bum, 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 I want to start making room for my tomatoes and cucumbers and they're all going to go along this patch here. As you can see, they're not going to fit the state it's in at the minute. So there's going to be some clearing out to be done before I go any further. Uh, the smell when you walk into the greenhouse when it's been warm is just, oh, it's just fantastic. And uh, I remember mum and dad had a greenhouse when I was little. All they ever grew in it was tomatoes. I think maybe they had to dabble with beetroot one year. but. I know we haven't got the tomato plants yet, but that familiar warmth and smell of plants growing is so nostalgic. So yeah, but saying that, I'm gonna get rid of half of them, put them in the cold frame. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Now, this is more tricky than I thought. Um, I've actually, I don't think I switched the mic on on the last clip. So this could be a little bit bitty. But you get the general idea. I've put a couple of grow bags here. I don't want to continue laying them flat. I'm going to want to put three pots in each one. So I know people say don't grow more than two plants in one grow bag, but I'm going to do the heightening thing by putting, giving them some more soil, some more room by putting these on, like this. Never knew what these would be useful for, but there you go. Like that, and then topping them up with soil out of another grow bag. Um, but at the end, behind me, can you see? There we go. Uh, I'm going to try doing the, the tomato cube thing. Now, I've never done this before, but apparently it's a really good idea. So I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. Let's see what, what works best. You see, I'm trying to do some of that talk. I can't do that. I can only talk. Okay. So I'm trying to get like so it won't be too messy when I cut it in half. Got a pair of blunt scissors, always handy. And I'm getting prepared to get covered in soil. Okay. Literally, da da da, da da da. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Oh, oh. Hey, it's working. Who'd have thought? Certainly not me. Okay. Not too bad so far. We've well, got a bit more in there, so push yourself over. Um, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. It's fairly straightforward. You've all done it before, and you'll be saying you're doing it wrong. I'm trying. That's ever. I'm trying. Okay. I don't really know why I'm doing it this way. Why I'm not just lying it flat? But it's all an experiment. It's all new. I've seen online that you can get those um, pots with reservoirs in, grow pots I think they're called, and there's a very posh system where it's actually a big tray that you just put your compost in and that's got four pots in, it's quite expensive. So I'm going to try this one first and if it works, great, okay, there we are, two halves, I've ruined a grow bag, all I need to do now, apparently, is shake it down, Hold that back. There we go. Ready for planting. Number one. Take it down so it stands up. Hold it back. Ready for planting. Number two. Okay. Hey, I'm really pleased with that. I'm going to be growing um, tomatoes with some of these and my cucumbers. I'm so excited about having cucumbers in. 
grown in the greenhouse. I'm also going to grow a couple outside just to sort of stagger, hopefully stagger the, uh, the cucumber foot that obviously we'll be having because they'll be growing ever so well alongside the tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to carry on. I'll probably speed this bit up because you must be bored by now. Right. thing is I still don't know if you can see me anyway this is the third time I've tried to do this um I was going to show you the process of me doing it but I've done it now once I didn't have the mic on once I didn't actually have the camera on and a couple of times actually I didn't have my head on so you know we're going for all three um and all I've done so far I have I tried using a Stanley knife but you know what I don't like them I always imagine they're just going to jump up and so can you see how I'm crouching here because I'm trying to keep on I've probably got off the bottom of the screen um I should just adjust it but I don't know um I always think these are going to fly off and just sort of chop off a limb so I'm very very wary about using them especially these old-fashioned ones that you can't even sort of just clip down again so I'm going to put that over there where it's not going to stab me in the eye and the same with drills you know electric drills even if they're not plugged in I just sort of think they're going to go Ooh, and I don't know, chase me, which <laughs> is a bit odd. I think I've seen too many Hammer Horror films when I was little. Um, okay, so I don't know if I've said this or not, but I'll say it again. I mainly recommend you put two in each of these, even though they've got three things on. But because I'm using this tall pot idea, I can afford to get three in each, I think. So I've made a cross in the middle of that. I've chopped the bottom off my pot. I'm going to wedge that in <laughs> little tomato and then what I do then oh I haven't bought me the grow bag in you know what I'm going to use one of these grow bags that I've already opened I'm going to top this up like so sing a little songs I do Whenever I'm doing something like this, the, the Hawaii Five-O music comes into my head, so you wouldn't want me to sing that. Okay, you can't see that because you're over there, but believe you me, it's quite nice compost this. This is a, a Levington's grow bag. I have used grow bags for years, so I'm assuming that this is a good make. I have heard of Levington's. I've heard that they can have good years and bad years, so hopefully this year's a good year. Okay, that is now filled up to about there. Before I do anything else, I'm going to get my steak. I'm going to pop that in at the back. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put it in the middle. There we go. And then, oh, should I put this in first or the watering spray? You know what? I bought some of these. I think I must have seen them on Gardener's World. I thought they were such a good idea for long-term watering of your tomatoes. So, you know, you just chop top of the bottles each day. You put the spikes in under the soil, you screw a bottle onto them, and then you can just top the bottle up instead of watering the uh, tomato direct, and it gets them all to the base of the tomato. But, I paid eight pounds off Amazon for those. I went to the pound shop. You don't have to ask the price, they're a pound. I got those. So, I don't know what the difference is. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to use one of these ones. He's got about 40. Mike's just walking past there. Bit of a Georgie accent. Hello. He's annoying me now. Can you see me? Okay, let's have a go. I think, ah, that might be an adapter to make a bigger one. Okay, I'm just screwing that into there. In fact, let's just see which one. Is that one going to go on there? That's a standard cheapy cheapy lemonade bottle. Too big. So, that goes straight on. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It's like a little wizard in a hat. Um, or someone have a joke with a road cone. Okay, I think these have actually got... Ah, I don't think you can see that. Oh, my compost. Hold on. They've actually got tiny holes at the bottom. 
Okay, so it takes the water down here and it comes out, filters it down to the bottom like that. Of course, there we are. Oh, hey, that's good. Can you see the deliberate mistake? I'm not going to get my water in. I don't know. Here come the scissors. I'm not doing another take. I will do it as I speak, right? Okay. Hawaii Five O music. Blood scissors. Trying to keep smiling. Ah, oh, not so bad. Not so bad. Quicker and easier than I thought. That's better. We'll get the water in now. Okay, put that back in there. I'm actually going to take this out, so I think, I think it's more important to get my water sorted. Okay, so that should get nicely to the bottom of the pot. Get my steak back in. Oh, move it more to the middle because otherwise it's going to go there. Right, it's quite a funny face that you can't see because you're on a tripod. Okay, and it also says on the grow bag that not really to plant your tomatoes until the first flower. In fact, it says here, da 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 da, delay planting tomatoes until the first flower opens. That doesn't say the first flower on the tomato plant, to be honest. And we've had lots of daffodils, so there. It's coming out the bottom. It's ready for a bigger place. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. There's no room left in here with this steak and the, uh, and the water thing. Pop it in. Tra la la. Going up to the first two leaves so it's got room for higher roots to come off the stem. Nodules, I think they are. Root nodules. Don't know. Look at that. Hey. And that one was um, sun gold. Okay, that's my little sun gold tomato. Ready to grow. Just got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine now. Okay, I'll come back when I've done them. Okay, there we go. The magic gardening elf has come and planted up. A summer supply of tomatoes and cucumbers. If we look at this one, yes, I'm off the tripod now. Oh, it's turned better. And now uh, I've got three cucumber, burpless, tasty green, delightful name. Then in here we've got my big boy. My big boy has actually got, hold on now, there we are, can you see that? A flower on. So he has actually been potted at the right time. Then I've got in this grow bag here, I've got my sun gold. And over here I've got my golden sunrise. Um, I have got several plants left over, but I don't ever said so before because I've done a few takes now because these rotten technicalities. I have got some tomato plants left over and a couple of cucumbers. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to plant those outside um, a little bit later on, another week or two, I reckon. Look at those flowers, aren't they nice? I can tell you about those while I'm here. Uh, every year I spend 20 odd quid on a delightful hanging basket from the garden centre up the road. And every year I say, I'm not spending that again, what a rip off. So, I've actually been and bought some plug plants, because this year I can make my own hanging basket. I'm not going to do it today, I think I'm going to leave it till next week. Have a little quick look at what's on, what's left on the staging. Poor old sweet peas, got to do something with them very soon. Petunias. Well, some of those are going to go in the hanging basket. My little carnation cuttings. Yeah, they're doing okay. A few GM. Dahlias. Ah, yes, dahlias. I want to ask you a question. I know how to plant dahlia tubers. I know how to plant uh, dahlia seeds outside in the soil or pop them inside. How do I actually plant potted dahlias outside? Am I supposed to leave the, the tubers showing like we have here? Am I supposed to do that? Is that meant to sit on top of the soil? Have I got to sink them a bit? Anybody out there, tell me. I'd be really grateful because I don't quite know what to do with them now. It's the first time I've grown them. I'm really pleased, even though there's a snail got that one. So, oh. mm, something's been munching. But yeah, they're ready to go out soon. Rest of the cucumbers. I've got some cornflower there. Oh, all sorts of stuff. 
And at the very end there, the stars of the show at the moment, the butternut squash and the gold rush courgette. Anyway, I'm going to take you outside and show you where I've put all the other stuff I've moved. Okay, we're outside, we're at the side of the shed, I'll show you that in a minute. We were lucky enough to be given a voucher for a garden centre um, of some very dear friends of ours. And I'm so conscious of my knee pads when I'm on camera because of Darren, because Darren's watching. <laughs> That's the right way around. Um, but yeah, we went and bought a seedling cloche. It was half price because obviously it was the, I don't know, end of the line. I don't know. But just come and have a look because just today it's proved so valuable. We've parked it around the side of the shed. And what we've done, you know, I said I was clearing out the greenhouse. This is where the whole magic had gone to. So if you have a look in here, we've still got to put some slabs down, but we've got um, our beans, the rest of the sweet peas, our plants, <laughs> our plants, our cornflowers, our geranium, our swede, our sunflowers, our sweet peas, more swede, cosmos, onions, and yeah, beans again. And so yeah, what perfect place to put them. Not only does it mean we can start hardening them off, because I know it's a cold greenhouse, but even so, it gets very warm. Um, but yeah, it's given us that extra space for this crossover period between things growing really fast and having to sow them and having to plant them outside. So thank you very much our dear dear friends David and Susie. We love it. Okay? Those keen eyed amongst you may have noticed something a little bit different this week. The shed this has changed colour. We've painted it blue. We've gone a bit mad. We've had bunting in the greenhouse and now we've painted the shed blue. We've actually inspired one of our neighbours to paint their shed bright pink, so, you know, it's all good. It's like Suffolk down here now. We've all got different candy coloured uh, sheds. I'll show you one day. Anyway, yeah, painted most of it blue, but for some reason I only bought a tin about that size. So you may have noticed, it's just the front, but when I took you around the side before, I've only got half of that done. I don't know if I'll ever finish it. I like to think I will, but I know what I'm like. Um, while we're there, just to round up today, these are the bottoms that I cut off the plant pots. How useful are they going to be for your little bean wigwams, for your little teepees? Threading your canes through those, reusing. The little, the ends of the um, pot bottles, little hats for little living plant pots to make little propagators, reusing again. And as for the difference between the 8.99 watering spikes and the one pound watering spikes not much difference really they've got an adapter for different size bottles uh, and they just assume you have small bottles at the top but you know for the difference it's really worth looking around it's gone a bit windy it's gone a bit dull but we've done so much today uh, still loads to do there's still areas that we're looking at and thinking oh dear that doesn't look right we're moving things i moved the comfrey by next week i might have moved all the tomatoes in the greenhouse again um because that's what i'm like but that is the beauty of being down here i can do what i want it's really good uh i hope you're enjoying may i hope you're getting some good things going either in your greenhouse your garden your balcony your window box whatever it is and yeah i'll see you again soon thank you